Well, good morning on this beautiful Tuesday Hi, morning. Um, thank you so much for coming, Michelle Belisari. So, Boca. Yeah. Hey. Woo! Oh, I there's my coffee. Oh, you gotta put the coffee down. Uh, well, you know, that was uh, our attempt at doing. I told him a I fist could bump do one. and an insta and snap. Insta snap, an insta story. So, uh, there you go. Uh, as you know, most uh, most people do uh, follow you uh, in so Boca, so. and uh, it's really, really a phenomenal branding that you uh, you've you. done, and uh, we appreciate you. Uh, for coming on Breakfast with the Broker. I'm so excited to be on Breakfast with the Broker. So let, let's get in there. Let's talk about what Instagram is um, and how you can leverage it as a real estate agent. Well, I think there's a few things. And, um, and I would like to premise this by social media should never be about age. So I know they like to break down these platforms. Like I started on Snapchat because I have millennials, right? So I started on Snapchat. And segue over to Instagram. And um, I think Instagram is a fantastic platform for real estate agents and small businesses because of the visual aspect of it. Uh, you can showcase products. You can show pr showcase listings, behind the scenes, um, you know, something about your town to enhance having people, one, want to follow you because the goal is to have people follow you but also have good content that makes sense to the consumer. So you don't want to just post stuff that you like. You want to post stuff that may be of interest to a buyer, to a seller, to someone in town. And you can't be selling all the time, guys. It's not about sales. But it's such a beautiful platform to be able to showcase your personality um, and a lot of people don't realize this. First of all, 800 million people are using this like on a, on a monthly basis, right? But uh, Insta uh, Instagram is owned by Snapchat. Gonna, uh, gonna it's owned by Facebook. Let's stop you for a second okay. just because yeah. it's, um, you know, it is September 11th. Yes. And it is, uh, it's, it's 9.03 when the, uh, the second, uh, plane hit, hit the tower. And, um, you know, a lot of times when we look at things, you know, things are put in perspective yeah. by huge tragedies. And, um, you know, it's a remember when, you know, I remember when my parents would say, mm -hmm. you know, remember, where were you when JFK? Right. You know, or where were you when Martin Luther King? Right. You know, and, and this is our generation of where were you? And uh, i just like to take, you know, 10 seconds to just to, to really um, be intentional and think about and thoughtful um, about today. Yeah, exactly. And think what? about the flight crews as well. My daughter's a flight attendant. Yeah, she is sure. flying later today. And I think it's important that we just um, think about, you know, the, that history and how long ago it was. And it's it's still fresh. Yeah. So, Red, white, and blue. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Ten seconds. Thanks, guys. Um, you know, you know how hard it was for Michelle and I not to talk during ten seconds. It's pretty. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> oh, you're still not talking. <laughs> this, this is true. Oh, by the way, here's a good social media tip because it's not just about Instagram. Please don't use days like this to for marketing. It's don't throw your logo on stuff today. It's just not cool. No, you know, and, and the really, you know, there's a different language, and that really is a great segue into, you know, how Instagram, Facebook, all these social media, Snapchat and stuff, and you, you told me Snappy. to stop. Yeah, you like, told you're not me to, talking about Snapchat. No, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but because I know nothing about Snapchat. Except, and you don't need to now. Right, right. Yeah, great, <laughs> thanks. Um, but one of the things, you know, it's got a different language, you know, and it's yeah. funny, the subtle things that you do, like what you just talked about, putting, um, you know, on a tragedy, a day oh, like this, so putting bad. your logo on it could have an awful effect on your following and, well, and it's going through. Besides you know, the but, fact, you know, and then it's just not, it's not, it's not what you should be doing. Sure. But most cases, 
you're not even thinking about it. As a real estate yeah. agent, you're thinking, all right, I'm gonna, you know, put out there, never forget, and right. all that, and put my, you know, <laughs> logo. logo on it, my real estate logo yeah. on it, and it, you don't never, ever think about it because we're always taught, you know, listen, we sell, we're promoters, yeah. we're this and that, Marketers. but we really are not sellers because we really want to be promoters of other people, right? Mm -hmm. Promoters of the consumer, of yeah. the buyers, of the sellers, of, you know, we have to think about our audience and always well, consider that goes audience. with what I started to say, which is you have to put content out there that the consumer is going to like, not what you yes. want to put on there. Like even last year, and our thoughts go out to our friends uh, in the Carolinas, because let me tell you something, we totally get this hurricane issue. Um, and uh, it's not fun and we get that but you know every once in a while when these things happen I see certain real estate marketers using it to sell product and I'm like what are you doing like you don't even know what we're dealing with here so you have to be very you know conscientious of how you're going to be promoting yourself hey Sue Pinky Benson <laughs> um, on you know social media and how you how you want to be um, how you want your brand to be presented on there, which does mean you have to curate and think about it. It's not like slap, slap, slap it up, which tends to happen on Instagram when people first start out. And then uh, you start understanding that, oh, there's a way to make it a theme and to add certain content and colors and things that are gonna drive people to like you and engage with you. And the followers are great. Um, and I have two thoughts on that because I have two Instagram accounts. So I have the hashtag SoBoca Instagram account, which is our lifestyle brand at SoBoca.com. And so what I do over there is a little different. And yes, do I want followers? Of course, I want engaging people, but I also have some goals because there's certain numbers I'd like to hit, but I don't want fake followers either, you know, because that isn't going to drive business to me. Um, which leads me into another segue, which is if you're doing this just to get business, you're not going to get business. You need to think about why you're on any of the social media channels. I, I think that's so important with any of them. And as I started to say before, with Facebook owning Instagram, you've got a nice double segue. It's kind of like YouTube and Google. You know, you can double dip so you get the good SEO. Same thing happens with Facebook business page, which realtors, you need to have a Facebook business page. It's super important. And you have to have a Facebook business page too. Sure. And so if we, if you were, if for all the viewers that are watching out there, um, and you know, most of them are in the real estate industry and, you know, give us three, you know, tips to get started. Uh, with Instagram as a realtor, you're sitting down and mm. I mean, most of us, you know, we all know what Instagram yeah. is, but we really don't know how to utilize right. it the best way. Well, I think one of, well, a couple of things I want to start with going back to Facebook owning Instagram is get your Facebook business page done properly first. What does so, done properly mean? Um, have the have a good bio, have proper links, have good content. You can automate your content on most of these platforms now. So when I do talk to realtors and they go, I don't have time. I'm like, but you do. You need to be marketing your business. This is part of your marketing, whether it's sitting in front of Netflix and automating some of your posts and um, or watching football, same thing, and um, getting things set up so that your message is very clear. Uh, maybe set up a content calendar, you know, that has everything broken down into 30 days. And you do it the same every month, but you pick a different topic of interest. It doesn't need to be all about real estate. You can pull things about your town you and videos, by the way. So anybody who's doing videos, huge, huge to do that. You get more traction with doing a little video on Facebook and then you can save that video and you can repurpose stuff. And this is this is what how I feel about it. There was a lot out there for a while. So don't repurpose anything. Look, we are selling property. We have to make time to sell and work with buyers. So yes, you can repurpose, but maybe don't repurpose it all on the same day. Sure. Like you can you can structure it out. 
And I th nice. and I think the uh, you know the the great idea that I think you just gave was you know to have a content calendar. Yes. You know we have systems for everything. You know yes. for real estate. So yes. You know um you know when you look at my system you know for I do seller Mondays. Right. So Mondays I update my sellers or whatever. Right. But if you did a content calendar and you did sellers on Monday, buyers yeah. on Tuesday, you know a uh, thing on the town Highl on Wednesday. Hi yeah, highlight something around town. You mm -hmm. know um get comfortable with your iPhones or Android or whatever you're using. At the end of the day, practice with your kids. You can practice with me. Um, I love the fact that my my uh, gal, Sue Pinky Benson, who's fantastic with video, you know, you can do a Our Facebook Live. Getting it's getting very pink and big. <laughs> yes. um, you can very do a pinkish. Facebook Live with one person. So if you wanted to do a walkthrough of a home, you could do that. But the bottom line is you can practice, 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 which is why Snapchat actually was awesome because I got on there and I was like, basically barfing all over Snapchat, but I ended up meeting amazing people on Snapchat, so much so that I went to a mastermind in Park City last year with 25 fantastic uh, people like Jason Frazier and Dustin Brome and Chelsea Pites and Sue. And, you know, this is where we kind of started really formulating how, how can we really use these platforms properly and make it so that people really enjoy the content. You know, we don't need to be talking about real estate all the time. Do you need to highlight that you're a realtor? Yeah, a lot of times you do for disclosure purposes. So, but you don't need to start every video off that way either. No, you know, and as a realtor getting into, you know, social media and, you know, most people take to Facebook because it's, you know, it's most easy. of the clients are, are there and yeah. most of, um, you know, it's a lot easier. But if you look at what the reach is and the engagement, the you, know, you know, Instagram seems to uh, really uh, yeah. help help them propel your business. And if you, if you went with the content kind Calendar, yes. If you you cons first of all consider Cons your audience. Because consider your audience and consistency. Yeah. Show yeah. up every day and do something. Whether you have makeup on, ladies, or not. Thank goodness for filters. That's fun. I wear baseball hats a lot in mine. Mm -hmm. Look, if you're gonna, if you're not gonna hire me because I'm wearing a baseball hat, then maybe we're not a good fit, anyways. But I, I, you know, I, if I think it's of interest to my audience on Instagram in particular, there's a, so much that I do on Instagram that you don't see on Facebook. It's just that kind of platform. And so for the real estate one, if you go on the Michelle B, which is my Instagram channel, I have Linktree, which is a great uh, tool for your bio. So if you want to add more than one link, it takes people to those links. That's awesome. I've been using that for a year. Um, I schedule a lot of my posts on Planoly. So that's another platform that I use. Again, saves me time. I can grid it out and see how it looks. Now, I do do a lot on the fly too because I may be somewhere where I'm like, oh, this, this would be really good. Take a picture or uh, take a little video and then I just download it and I save it. Like I bank so much. I think most people think I walk around all day long like this <laughs> with my phone. But the reason is I bank it and then what I've done is I start folders on my iPhone in the um, photo section. So if I need a food picture or I need a picture of FAU or I need a picture of the beach or whatever, I have this stuff ready to go and then I can use captions and it's fantastic, which I love. You know, the... Um it's funny because really as real estate professionals we become um almost like media marketers you know uh, oh, news media you know uh, usually a lot of times clients will come directly to you and say hey you know you know vendors or recommendations yeah. or or you know um, wh what's going on in on military and spanish river or or what have you and you know and, and we become a resource and in, in through your committees in, in downtown and, mm -hmm. and you know you, you start to get that information so let's segue a little bit in kind of the last part uh, that I wanted to okay. get across. Uh, you know, the next three to five years is, um, I always ask um, my guests, mm -hmm. you know, what's the outlook? So I guess my specific question to you is, what do you think um, Instagram is going to do, morph, transform, or what have you? Is there going to be um, some more social media channels that we're going to go, you know, uh, we I hear think, about a lot about Pinterest. That's uh, well. Let me are... tell you about Pinterest. I'm on Pinterest, and mm -hmm. I've been uh, focused on that a lot. I went from about 800 views a month to 12,000 views a month, 
The SEO on that is crazy good and it's not a social media channel. It's an SEO search engine and that's what people also don't realize. So if you have a good blog post or you have a listing, set up some Pinterest boards and start getting on there and join. They have these tribes now that you can join and you can share this content and it's fantastic. I mean, literally in under two months, I jumped to 12,000 views. So my goal is to get higher and then it drives back to Soboka.com in most cases. But then I have my real estate site called The Bees. So I have both of them. I think that's fantastic. Social media, I think it's always going to be moving and changing, and we are media companies that happen to sell real estate. And I can thank uh, Neil Mathweg for that tidbit. The onion juicy is fantastic. And, um, and, and I like it. And here's the thing. I'm 56. I throw my age out there. When I see people say, I, can't, I don't get this, or I can't understand it, and it's about the age thing, I'm like, no, 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 no. You need to sit down with someone who can show you, um, a few things, not like a fire hose. I think that's the problem that we see is that you have social media stuff happening and then it's too much information. Start with Facebook, then you get to Instagram, but know your why with Instagram. It's, it's, it's the, the magic is really in the direct messages and you can connect with people. And Gary B says that all the time. You don't want to spam, but I have, I, I got a client from Instagram. This is like really cool. But on Soboka, that's a little more on an influencer side of things that I do with my daughters, Kylie and Allie. So we are doing some collaborations with companies outside of real estate, but it ties all back in together. Right. So you just have to kind of blend it together. I'm going to be doing a social media uh, event here in Boca, October 17th at Clive Daniels, and it's going to be free awesome. for realtors. Awesome. And if you're a small business person, you can come do it. I'll, <laughs> I'll be putting the, that out, that info out. Good stuff. So, yeah. you, you know, as far as implementation, you know, I think the mistake that most of us uh, do is we go ahead and, you know, try and do everything and we do Can't end do up it. doing nothing. So, you know, what I would implore and, and, and you've helped us, um, you know, tremendously over the years, oh, um, you. you know, this isn't well, how you saw me. It was on Facebook. Like, yeah. Like, so <laughs> yeah, crazy story is, um, I was, I was on Facebook. How many years ago? Six, oh, well, it must've been cause it was 2011, 12. 2012, so I came about, here. About six years ago, yeah. um, I started uh, stalking uh, Michelle. <laughs> and what happened was, uh, I was looking for a recruiter. Yeah. I was looking for someone to help me, um, you know, build the, the company and right. such like that. So I, I was looking for people that had some kind of social media influence. And um, six years ago, I'm, I'm like, Michelle's like <laughs> killing it on social media and Facebook and what have you. And obviously the Instagram wasn't mid, even there yet. But, uh, mama. Yeah, so, I was, so I reached out to her and offered her uh, to come on board. Yeah. So, um, and you know, and then, you know, and the rest such is great, history. It's such a great move, by the way. Yes, it was I mean, for it's, both it's of us. It's been a real um, win-win. But, you know, one of the things is, you know, people trying to implement too many things yeah. at once. Baby steps. Just, just implement 10, 15 minutes a day. Yeah. You know, five days a week. Yeah. And don't overdo it. Uh, and, to it learn will, about and, Instagram. It, and honestly, it will come to you. Like if I had told you that a year and a half ago, I would have started a blog called Soboka. I would have what? flash forward. It has morphed into a whole thing, but it, baby steps, maybe I work on that. I work on my real estate. I, I love niches in real estate. As you know, I, that's another whole topic. And I, you know, I really like that. The new two new things that have popped up that you can't get distracted, get your Facebook, get your Instagram down. If Instagram's your jam podcasting mm -hmm. and flash briefings on Amazon, um, master the basics, like that's your, up your, you know, pyramid, right? That's the base. And then start adding these. So like, I, I do like uh, podcasting because I worked in radio at GC 101, Modern mm -hmm. Country Music in Gainesville. Um, and now it's kind of come full circle and people are listening and not always watching. Like we will turn on YouTube, but mm -hmm. we may listen to it. We may not. So don't get distracted with, I need to do those things. Get a couple of these things done. And then you can take that content and repurpose it. Yeah, it's awesome. Absolutely. You can take one good video, do a five minute video on something you love and turn it into a blog post, break it down into Instagram posts, turn it into a Facebook post, uh, make it a podcast. I mean, there's so much you can do with it. It's like crazy. Sure. So basically Instagram to me is micro uh, blog posts. Yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. That's it. So thank you very much, Michelle. I uh, very you. much appreciate it. Uh,